Hello everyone, Crydex here. Welcome back to our Nullius playthrough. In our last episode, we accomplished our first rocket launch. And I've set up, I, I switched this setup around a little bit so that we can get each of the silos affected by six beacons. Turns out, silos are big enough that that actually works. And then I put some beacons in between them as well that aren't even affected by uh, the large beacons. So these are quite a bit faster now in terms of crafting speed. I can get 0.036 per second, which is about double what I had built in Hellmod, which is nice. Oh no, Dave, you missed it. Well, it'll be going up on YouTube uh, later today, actually, because there's a you know a one day delay, but uh, you'll be able to see it. Um, and then the other, I've done a couple other things. I added some more aluminum rod making because we actually were running short on that because of all the wire we needed. And I added a couple more fiberglass. I added more labs and I upgraded all my labs to tier three, which are twice as fast. And I also just realized I need to go ahead and put, that's the wrong lab. Uh, I need to put four yield modules in there now. So we need to do that. Because they can fit one more. So then we'll get 28% more free research. Um, what else have I done? I was just getting some more oxygen set up for BPA because that was slowing down. But it looks like now we're out of benzene. Classic. Um, I added some more storage for rubber because we were hurting a little bit on rubber. can't believe benzene is dropping low. I guess I never upgraded these to tier 3, did I? I should upgrade all this stuff. In fact, let me upgrade all of them. So I've got three of these little sections for benzene, and we can definitely improve that. So we'll upgrade those. And I also changed my nuclear around a little bit because we are going to soon have much better nuclear. And I wanted to figure out a way that we could use the breeder cells properly alongside the fusion cells. So let's take a look at what I've baked up and then we can actually get, I guess I should start researching because it's going to take a while. Um, oh wait, that's not going to work. I'm not un unpacking. So before I just had inserters inserting fusion cells and then they would turn on if a certain signal was there. But now I've set it to filter inserters and they will set the filter based on the signal. And essentially, if steam is low, I send a green signal. And if, and you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I could do that differently. Uh, but that, I get, I, it works, it works. So if steam is low, I send a green signal. So that means we want to insert nuclear cells. And then these two tell me which type of cell I want to insert. So if tritium is low, lower than 500, and we're measuring in the tank here, then it will send a yellow signal. And if tritium is high, we'll send a pink signal. And then these guys basically multiply signals. So they'll only, so it'll send a breeder cell signal if green is on and yellow is on, which means tritium is low and we have um, low steam, then we'll use breeder cells. If we have enough tritium, and we have a green signal, then we'll use fusion cells. And then I'll put requests for breeder and fusion cells in all these. So I think that will work and it'll switch back and forth and it'll keep the inserters inserting the same things, hopefully. And now I need to go unpack uh, astronomical science. I think yesterday I called it astrological science, which is very different. Uh, we don't care what your sign is. <laughs> So, yeah. And then I added a couple random buildings. I don't even remember. I think I was low on sensors or something, but nothing too crazy. Oh, and I finished upgrading my uh, geothermal build up here because we needed more Sterling Engine 2s. And it looks like these have all gotten pretty hot, which means my power is probably okay right now. But I might need more Sterling Engines up there. 
Okay, so here we want to unbox. That's an oxymoron. Wait, what's an oxymoron? And put a requester chest. What are we doing? 400 of everything. So 400 boxes of astronomical data. And then hopefully these will go quite a bit faster. I added eight more. They're all twice as fast. And they have more yield now, which I guess slows them down a little bit. But we'll see how fast my nuclear power research goes. Oh, astrological science is an oxymoron. You know, that's a good point. It, it sure is, isn't it? It sure is. Here we go. Bam. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's now running properly. How are we doing on fiberglass still? Looks like we're still short on it. I definitely am low on epoxy, and I'm still low on epoxy because of ECH, actually. Interesting. And I'm low on ECH because of propene. I believe that's propene, yeah. And I'm low on this because of actually the fact that it's a lower tier barrel pump. I think that's the issue. 440? Yep, that's definitely the issue. So that'll help a little bit. And we're already at 6% on our nuclear power. Beautiful. And then I feel like I did something else too, but I can't remember what it was in between episodes. Oh, I put in another 1,000 bots. I do remember doing that. So we're now up to 3,000 of the Tier 3s. And I'm probably going to need minimum 6,000 or 6 to 8,000 to run my base. So I'm not going to transfer that over for a while. Power is still pretty bad. Um, I just don't have any more nuclear fuel left. And yeah, I just don't have enough stuff. Maybe I should build some more wind power. Or I could try to upgrade all this, I guess. Geothermal. How do you remove the old ones? Uh, I lost track of what I was saying. The old ones of what? Oh, I, I have the robot replacer mod. And you put the new tier of bots in the chest. And then it will just automatically replace. When they land somewhere, it'll replace the other tier of bot. With the higher tier. So it's pretty nice. And then it and then it provides it to the network. So then I rebox somewhere. I don't remember where I'm doing that, but I'm reboxing up the tier two bots so that they can be ingredients for the tier three bots. Now we actually have tr tritium. What what's going on? What did I do? Oh, I just never moved this over. There we go. Okay, well, we can get a few fusion cells back. Alright, 36%. Honestly, this sounds crazy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to request... Well, do I have solar collector threes? I forget. No, I don't. Dang. I was thinking I could just put some attached to this to give me some amount of power. Yeah, we really need wind right now. Without wind power, our base can't run. So there's not much I can do about that. Let's see, how much... I also am just planning on copying this, like, five more times eventually, once I have more nuclear cells we should be able to do that okay well let's get this whole thing set up since we're already 60 percent of the way researched um breeder cells are made in nanofabricators bleh of course they are and the spent breeder cells are done in distilleries and those need water okay so 
Let's see, we need some chem plants here. Put put some down here. Or no, nanofabricators, not chem plants. Uh, let's get a beacon that does touch those. And we'll get some nanofabs going. I think 10 will be enough. I'm hoping. And then we'll have a few distilleries. Probably won't need very many. I'm guessing two is enough. And I will put yield wherever I can. And so we'll be able to essentially turn deuterium into tritium with this. And then now that I have plenty of deuterium, I will put a venting option on this, although hopefully I won't need it anytime soon. But yeah, you'll vent deuterium if deuterium is greater than 495,000 in that tank. Which is not going to be anytime soon. Alright, 85%. Getting there. Launching some more rockets here. Get that astro science. Wind is dying down again. Come on, wind. Oh, yeah, it's been low for most of the last 10 minutes. Look at that. Which it does about once an hour, I think. All right, 4%. Almost there. Oh, I was going to say it's going really slow, but that's because my power is completely dead. Oh, even the lamps aren't doing very much because power's so low. That's funny. And... Uh, there it is. Okay. So, breeder cells... Oh, wait. Is that okay? Yes, that is okay. We can set it... Set it up like that. Yeah. This... Copy that. And then we need just various inputs. So, I think we'll do something like this. It'll take from there. It'll take from there. And then we'll have a belt coming back up. Copy that. A patch of four. Yeah, what the heck? We'll do uh We'll do another pair so that way we can be consistent here. I'm gonna need a lot of these. And then breeder cell output. Top and bottom. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and I did get a mod update to the additional paste settings. Now it gives you the little icons for everything, which is kind of cool. And at least it told me... How am I out of lithium? That's not good. Ooh. Um, oh, yeah. 1.5 breeder cells per second. I think that's pretty good, right? Mm, they're only 500 megajoules. So no, that is that is not good enough. Definitely need some more speed up in here. That gets me three per second. That's quite a bit better. Um, and then I'm going to manually grab these and feed them in so we can get started. And where the heck is my lithium? I did seem to have seen a mistake something 
Oh, I'm just not unboxing lithium. That's all it is. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, I know I'm using some lithium, but I should, should have some left. Okay, lithium. Unboxing. Okay. Just a hundred. One hundred in the box. There we go. Okay, so we got that, and then... These broke again. I thought I fixed this. What is going on here? Oh, the wastewater is an issue. Why is the wastewater an issue? Because the sludge is an issue. Why is the sludge an issue? Sludge is an issue because the wastewater... Oh, I see the issue. <laughs> um little bit of a circular logic there so we do need this wastewater to potentially be outfalled if there's an overflow I think that should restart everything I actually put this steam tank in here so it wouldn't break because I think it was overflowing too simply or too quickly we were losing a lot of steam, and then it eventually didn't have enough steam to restart the brine thing. So. Wait, why is Twitch telling me an ad starts in five minutes? Oh, it's already been 26 minutes. Guys, how are we having so much fun? Sheesh. Okay. So, let's actually get this going now. Um, I'll put two unbarrelers out to the side... And we need, oh, I guess we only need one. Uh, one for helium. Compressed helium is good. How much do we need? Is it a lot? 24 a second? Yeah. Pretty far away, so I'll do 100 barrels. Um, and then, yeah, we'll put my standard U on the top of everything, and then we should just be able to connect up helium like that. And then deuterium, there's really no reason to not connect it to this. So deuterium's here. And there we go. Breeder cells are rolling. And three per second. They are only 500 megajoules. Um, but I do have neighbor bonus of 2.5. So. We'll just let that fill up. Uh, neighbor bonus of 2.5 means these are each 1.25 gigawatts. So that can support. About 3.75 gigawatts of breeder cell production. Perfect. Okay, and now we need these requester chests to all have breeder cells as well. Breeder cell 5. And then hopefully we'll be running again. And they're not going to be synced up right at first, but once they cool off for the first time, they should sync up after that. Ta-da! Alright, now these spent breeder cells are the ones we need to work on. Actually, they're not as fast as I thought they would be. Get them in line with uh, my beacons here. That's better, one per second, but we actually need more than that. Um, i move this over by one. Speed. How's that? Yeah, 3.6. There we go. Okay, so we do need some water. 
which I guess I'll just throw a hydro plant here. Kind of annoying. I really should have more water um, barreling. Pretty sure I have it set up somewhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust. It does need a hundred. Never mind. I'm not gonna trust that. If I only needed like thirty water a second, I think I would just import barrels. But I need a little bit more than that. So connect up some water inputs, and then we have multiple outputs. Connect those up. Okay, we need a well. Okay, and then the only thing I need is the spent cells, which should already be showing up. I think they get used up pretty fast. In fact, yeah, they're only gonna last like 10, 20 seconds. I'm already out. <laughs> um, Okay, so then those get requested. And then we do have a, two solid outputs. Wastewater is fairly negligible. So we'll just put the outfall here. And then helium is interesting. How much do we get back? We get 60 helium from three. Each one costs 10 helium. Well, 40, essentially. So they cost 40 and give back 20. But with productivity at 21% and then 28%. Hmm. That actually means... We barely need any helium. Because what is 1 times 1.21 times 1.28? Yeah, we don't quite get enough back. But we do get some helium back, is the main point I'm trying to make. And that should go into a compressor uh, right here. And I kind of need this to, yeah, we'll do a top up then like that. And you will compress helium like that. Okay. And then that gets rid of the helium. So we still have empty canisters. We get back some lithium too. We get back two lithium per three. We use, so we get back a third of the lithium, which is more like a half after productivity. And we get back one canister, which again, we use one canister. So we get back a third of the canisters. But the main point is the tritium and the tritium can be connected into this line here. Ta-da! And then that will make some new breeder cells, or I mean fusion cells. And I think I can put those in a chest now. And I think, oh, the belt, right. Okay, and then that just gets actively provided away. I don't really have to worry about it. It's always less than the cost, so it's not like I'm ever gonna have too much. Limit the chest. Uh, I'm okay with the full chest of fusion cells, if that's what you're meaning. They only stack to 20, so it's not an insane amount. That's only 600 fusion cells. Sweet. So I think that should do it and support. 
a decent amount, because if three of these are running per second, that means about three of these are running per second, which is getting me 20 tritium per second, which is enough for a lot more fusion cells, actually. Um, yeah, if they stacked to like 500 or something crazy, I might switch it around. I'm gonna add a bunch more fusion cells. Um, and then I disconnected my tritium, didn't I? Or deuterium. Tritium's here. At the top. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So now that can use up to 9 tritium to make close to 3 a second fusion cell and three fusion cells are two gigajoules each. Oh, but wait, we need, I'm being dumb. Sorry, y'all, I'm being really dumb. Uh, we actually need a lot more than that. I'm gonna put another one here. And we're just gonna make it double speed. There we go, 5.2, that's better. Because we need to make three uh, well, 2.4 fusion cells per second to feed the breeder cells. And then we also want to make fusion cells per second. So 5.2 sounds a lot better. And in fact, I might need slightly more canisters. Now that they're working so much faster. But yeah, all that to say, nuclear should be good now, hopefully. Oh, we don't want stack size, though. I should remove that. We want them to just insert a full stack. This hasn't even heated up yet enough to start making steam. Which makes sense because the react or the Stirling engines are actually eating all of the heat. Cause there's actually more Well, is there enough? I kind of forgot I added more neighbor bonus. So now we have a total output of what was it, nine hundred? And I have one forty Sterling engines, 140 uses 800 plus 320. Yeah, yeah, we still use more than the 900 megawatts. So, sweet, okay. Well, I think my nuclear build is beautiful and I should just be able to copy it. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Um. I don't think I need to do anything weird to just copy paste it. So I'm just going to do that. We're just going to put that there. I will line that up offset. I'll just do one space. And do that. I'll remove that sensor node. And then we do need a little bit of water fill right here. Bots should be able to take care of the rest. And that will give me some much needed extra power. That I can actually support now. Because let's see. Wait, I'm not out of ceramic powder, am I? No, these requests are just too small. Make them bigger. Okay, breeder cells are filling up, fusion cells are filling up. That is a good feeling. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to keep making breeder cells until I have enough tritium. 
but the tritium is also helping enable me to build more fusion cells, so I'm going to have plenty of both at some point. And eventually I'll have extra tritium and start using the uh, fusion cells, but right now I think it's only going to be using the breeder cells. Look at that, we actually have plenty of steam, which means the things are hot. And that's when the reactor shut down. Which means we're not actually using all the power. Because wind is high. And now this is all set up to do the same thing. Oh, perfect. 900 more megawatts is a big deal. I think we'll pretty consistently be okay now. Because even before when wind would die, I had like 2 gigawatts usually. So now we'll have 3 gigawatts even when power dies. Which means even more power will be building up when I have wind. So I think we might be consistently okay now. I guess we'll see. And let's just make sure this is actually operating because something seems broken here. What's wrong with you? Oh, it just hasn't heated up yet. Uh, the second reactor setup is not connected to tanks. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, so we just need to connect... Oh, shoot. I guess I made it all one red signal. Is that going to be a problem if I connect the two? I guess that just means I can delete this circuitry and uh, just connect the red wires. And then we'll just insert to the entire nuclear setup. No. Uh, shoot. I don't want to do that. I need their steam setups to be separate. It's kind of annoying. Um, so that means I need green wire. It's the simplest way to do it, at least. For the uh, tritium measuring. So green wire... Green wire to here, green wire to these two. Um, and no red wire input to these two. Yeah, I think that's good. And then green wire connects down to here. And then I'm going to copy paste this right there. And hopefully nothing breaks. And we're not making any steam yet because this is still too cold, but it will. Okay. And we are measuring tritium, I think. Is it correct that I have zero tritium? Yes, that is correct. Okay, yeah, it pops up for a second there. All right, so that should be doing it. Sweet. And there we go. Okay, so we'll burn... Uh-oh, am I out of boron? Yep, I'm out of boron. How am I out of boron? I thought we were good on that. Um, boron's here. We're just not unboxing it, I think, is the issue. As with most things that break. I just am not unboxing it. I swear that's happened 50 times by now. Boron, unboxing, yada yada. We'll just do 200. We've got plenty of it. Go up to 200. Actual. Yeah. Yeah, unboxing day. 
Boxing Day is the far less important. And you'll notice the art has changed a little bit. Angels changed their art and only has updated so it doesn't break with the changed art. So like the chimneys look a little different in the inventory. But yes, Unboxing Day is far more popular than Boxing Day. All right, well, let's look at the other researches we can get in, get ourselves into here. Um, I maybe shouldn't have done everything I did with breeder cells because I'm going to soon have your uranium. But I do need to research asteroid mining, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I believe I can get copper and uranium from space, and we can also create... Uh, like, we bring down... At least I think what it actually does is it brings down patches of resources um and then copper yeah you get new recipes to make things with copper so it looks like we're gonna create copper processing and then we can make heat pipe twos probably that's cheaper i assume and then we can make uh insulated wire with copper instead, and then a new level of processor, which unlocks some fancy new things. So let's start with asteroid mining, then we'll research copper, and then I will research uranium processing. And I don't really care about inserter capacity, so we'll wait on that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, how are we... Ooh. Look at that. Perfectly synchronized. Uh, oh, they disappeared. Okay. Um. I guess they're perfectly synchronized because we dropped below a certain amount of science. I guess that's how that works. But that looked really cool. So then we're going to be able to mine some uranium and make uh, uranium fuel cells. And it's possible that we wasted our time doing this if, we're, if we can just make uranium fuel cells anyway. It feels a little strange, I guess, that the breeder cell technology is so close to nuclear fuel cell technology or uranium fuel cell. Um, because you can make fission cells, and then, yeah, I mean, that's only a couple researches away here. And that feels like it's going to still be pretty cheap. I think I uh, made, yeah, I made a, a thing here. So all you need is sulfuric acid and some soda ash. Oh, you still need tritium. That's right. Never mind. I take back what I said. You still need tritium. Um, but instead, we're never going to burn fusion cells. Fusion cells will only exist to create breeder cells, which only exist to create more tritium. Um... Huh. Looks like these requests are actually still too small. So we'll go bigger again. But yeah, so fusion cells won't be burnt. Because that would spend tritium. So instead of spending tritium for fusion cells, which is 4 tritium for 2 gigajoules, we're going to spend tritium on fission cells, which are essentially 2 tritium to 4 gigajoules. So it's quadruple the gigajoules per tritium. And if you factor in one more step of productivity, then it's even more than quadrupling our tritium to power ratio. And since the tritium to power ratio is higher, that means we need to burn less breeder cells to kind of get the amount of power we get. Uh, why is this happening? This is not the way it should look down here. Oh. 
Those all still have one left somehow. Huh. Maybe it's just doing that for the first time. Is this one still synced up? Oh, they have different amounts in them. I guess that is a... Maybe we do need stack size one so that they'll always end up in the same spot. So I will change that to stack size one. And then uh, I think we need the requests to be 15 breeder cells because you can fit more breeder cells in. I think the max was five for fusion, but for breeder cells, it's more. And then stack size one. Okay, we'll go with that. But it feels good to have enough power. It feels really good to have enough power. <laughs> and I'll copy paste this again at some point in the near future. But we just got asteroid mining unlocked. So let's uh, check out what the heck that's all about. Also, let's check on my bots. How are we doing? Uh, pretty busy. Getting that uh, 6,000 available. So asteroid mining. Um, we need to create these asteroid miners in a large assembler. So what the heck, we'll just do this over here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Asteroid. Asteroid mining one. Oh, that's not a large assembler. I did that last time. Uh, okay, so asteroid miner needs a bunch of stuff. We need excavation drones, specifically. So, I'll let that do that. Excavation drones. Excavation drone. Can be made in a medium assembler. And it needs a demolition drone. And that needs a scout drone. Robot frame threes. Which need to be unboxed, which aren't. Uh, and then follow it a little bit further back. Missile twos. I don't think I'm missing. Oh, yeah. Fusion cells. Holy crap. Uh, definitely not making that. Okay. One thing at a time. Unboxing. Drone. Chassis. Or whatever they're called. Three, or bot. Bot frame three unboxing. Start with this. I'll do 100 there. Then I need some mediums. Where are all my mediums at? Here are some. Let's replace this and this. And get some more mediums. And we need... Am I doing scout drone ones even? Uh, logistics drone. Scout drone one. I, I think those are old. So... I will... Okay, I also need to unbox tier two frames. And missiles. Missiles and tier two frames. Unboxing. Got it. Missiles, unboxing, we'll do 70, and then tier 2 bot frame, oops, uh, didn't mean to do that, we'll do 50, up to 100, okay. So that's handled. And that gets me scout drones. And then we need a scout drone twos. And then we need 
Demolition drones. And then we need excavation drones. Which require missile two boxes, which I'm not making. Missile twos are made in a medium assembler as well. That requires fusion cells with a bunch of other stuff I already have. So why don't we make those here? Missile two boxes. Oh, crap. That was a bit overkill. I'll just do two clicks. And those stack to 50. I don't need 250 boxes. I think 50 boxes is acceptable. Because we're not going to need a million excavation drones, right? What was the recipe for the asteroid miners? It was four excavation drones for one asteroid miner. That feels fine. What did these stack to? They only stacked to 10, so that was stacked to 50. Yeah, I think that's all good. Maybe we'll let this go to two. Okay. Bots are looking good. It's amazing how small this base is. When you use logistics bots, you really don't need to build all that big. Okay, sweet. There are the excavation drones starting to work. Power is still acceptable. And how do we actually launch the asteroid miner things? A guide remote. Looks like these are made in... Wait, I need terraforming remotes. Looks like those are all made in paving drone, terraforming drone. Oh, here, terraforming drones. There we go. Oh, geez. I missed a few steps here. Uh, so we need giant boxes of landfill to make terraforming drones. And then that lets us get paving drones. And then paving drones. Or we need terraforming remotes. Gray. The other colors are for the other four ores, but I need terraforming remote gray. Terraforming remote gray requires It's just this. Oh, okay, good. We don't need huge boxes of landfill. Do do do. Where was I? Down here. So it has the look that this is functioning. I don't know what these stack to. They stack to one, so we'll just have a uh, I don't know five of them. And then, uh, terraforming remote gray. Medium assembler. Terraforming remote gray. Here we go. And that needs excavation remotes. Excavation remotes require demolition remotes. This is, if you give a mouse a cookie, uh, demolition remotes. Oops. Yeah, the, the mod update I got allows me to add multiple requests from different buildings to the same building, which is actually very nice. Um, the other one would give you an error in additional paste settings. Okay, and that needs demolition remotes, excavation, demolition, 
Okay, and Demolition needs Scout Remotes. Jeez. Really is if you give a mouse a cookie. Uh, and then Scout Remotes finally require normal things. Sheesh. And you can't do productivity on any of those steps. Oh, well, I could have done that, but a little too late. Okay, and then we really want just like one stack of each of these. Okay, and then finally we can... What are those built in even? Um, medium assemblers. So... Those are not the terra... Here, here we are. Guide remote uranium. Target's location for uranium guide drones. So then... Get that going. What do they stack to? Oh, they only stack to one. What do these stack to? Also only one. That's fine, we only need one. Uh, so then what exactly do I just... Rocket launch products. Oh, hold on. I think I'm understanding what I have to do here. So I think I have to actually launch in a rocket the asteroid miner because it says rocket launch products and then uh, let's see and then I'll get this guide drone uranium as a as a byproduct sometimes I think Okay, so I've got Guide Remote Uranium. I'm guessing, yeah, it says zero. Okay, well, so what I need is another rocket launcher. And when I say rocket, I mean space rocket launcher. Uh, this crap is all in my way, and I don't give a crap about it. We need another one of these. Okay, like that. And then, uh, we need everything but the satellite put in our extra speed up here okay then this is going to be asteroid miner Very loud standing by all of these. And then we'll turn off auto launch with cargo just so we can kind of see what's going on here. fuel is that supposed to be that way what's going on with rocket fuel looks like rocket fuel has slowed down significantly what's going on here hydrochloric acid issues holy crap 500 isn't enough 
to be requested and constantly box. How about 600? How about we request another 200? How's that for flipping hydrochloric acid boxes? Yeah, or barrels, I guess. I probably should make a hydrochloric acid build specifically for that rocket fuel. But here we are. Okay, so this is still needing more rocket fuel. So that's the limiting factor right now. Yeah, I mean, let's uh, let's just look real quick. So if I have an electrolyzer, not surge. Um, thanks, hydrogen and chlorine, and then this makes. Hydrochloric, like that. It makes 384. Then I need hydrochloric acid and water. I really need two of these. There we go. That alone can make quite a bit from just 120 brine. Um, so yeah, let's do a couple of those. And then the water. So speaking of brine, we need probably a single distillery if we've got it going at this rate. So for 240 brine, we need 1400 water. So this can supply all the water we need and more. So we need an overflow. Um, overflow here. Can the treasury bear such expense? I know pure it's 24 karat water is, is what we're dealing with here. It's, it's crazy. Uh, seawater out the wazoo, plus probably two boilers. I assume this is going to require two boilers. A uh, single boiler actually can handle it. That will also take from the pure water. And then we need... Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. See if I spaced that out right. I always seem to screw up the spacing on these. Yeah. It's too close. The sick sock. Why, why is the sock sick? These are the questions. Nobody knows the answer to. Okay, so those are all pumping in. We need some steam. Um, yeah, water water is incredibly precious uh, when you're very early on. Very early in, because you can only get it from electrolyzing or whatever, like all the distillery stuff. But once you get some of the better recipes, it gets quite a bit simpler, which is very nice. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of the wastewater. I've got plenty of that now, at least for the time being. And then finally the brine will go here. Okay, and then to jumpstart, I'll actually use seawater boiling on this. Connect it up there for a second get started and then we should be able to change that back to regular freshwater boiling
Oh yeah, and then hydroxide. Uh, we need to do boxed. And that will just be actively provided away. It can kill horrible byproducts, you're not wrong about that. Okay, connect through the water, and then uh, connect these up. And this will... Uh, let's see. I'm actually just gonna... Top up. 40. This is ugly, but it'll work. Okay. So now the problem is too much brine. Not enough water. Maybe we just need to do one of those. Are we gonna run out of water again? So we don't make enough water? Is that what's happening? I swear we made too much water. So for 240 brine, we need 1400. Oh, we need extra water, not brine. Brine is the thing we're making too much of. I see. Okay, so then we actually need an overflow here. Oops. There we go. So that one will probably never run, but I guess we'll see. All right, there we go. Now, compressed oxygen seems to be an issue as well. Uh, we'll bump that request up to 600 and request 200 more. Hopefully that's enough. Is the rate enough? They need 318. Yeah, yeah, the rate's enough. Okay, all that to say, we're probably ready for a rocket launch, and I should probably be done with YouTube video number one for this stream, because it's already over an hour. But we have a rocket ready to launch with an asteroid miner, so let's see. It looks like we only get a 10% chance at a uranium return, so maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. What do we get? Uh, we got sandstone. Not what I wanted. Uh, let's do uranium hydrone less than one. And then auto launch the cargo. Can't hear anything. Uh, so that'll keep launching those into space until I get a uranium one. And it looked like copper was twice as prevalent, so by the time I get a uranium one, I should have a couple coppers, but I want to work on uranium first and then we'll work on copper. So yeah, awesome. So we are working towards asteroid mining, launching an extra rocket with that purpose specifically. I think this is all working properly. I think it's just low on rocket fuel still. But, okay. Well, I will call it a YouTube video there, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.